Hey guys, Julie here, and today's video, well, uh, it's a bit of an experiment. My friends at Taste Made were like, hey Julie, can you recreate a childhood candy? And I was like, yeah, no problem, cool, totally cool, 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 cool. And they were like, what about sour straws? And I was like, you guys are no, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this recipe. It's totally gonna be trial and error, so just bear with me, but I think we can do it. I've done a ton of research on how to get the right consistency. I know how I wanna coat them, so uh, follow along and hopefully I don't fail. Famous last words, if I did, throw in the montage right here and that'll be the end of the video. Shit, did that in the wrong order. I missed a step. Boy, boy, boy. I either let these overset. This is just a little something to help me get through. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's just get started. First thing we wanna do is make our jelly mixture. So I'm gonna use a pack of blue jello and some regular flavored gelatin and just get them in my microwave safe bowl. All right, the next thing to go in is our citric acid. Now this is basically, you know how salt is salty? This is what sour is. This is like the, the most basic version of sour and of course we're making sour straws. So let's get that in our bowl and just give that a quick mix. Now the key to this recipe is I don't actually want to make jello because that's not going to be stiff enough. That's what she said. So I'm not quite adding in all the liquid and that's why I had that additional jello pack. So we're only going in with a third a cup of water. And then I've got a quarter cup of corn syrup and that is what's going to stop our straws from crystallizing. It's going to make sure they remain nice and chewy during the setting process. Now we're going to give this a really gentle stir and get everything as dissolved as possible. We really don't want to incorporate any bubbles because they're tough to get out and I don't want bubbles in the final product. So just make sure when you're stirring, you're doing it nice and smoothly and gradually. And now you just want to let this sit for five minutes to let the gelatin bloom. All right, so we're ready to put it in the microwave. I'm gonna heat it first for 30 seconds and then give it a stir. Then pop it in for another 15 seconds, stir, and then repeat the 15 seconds three more times. Then it should be nice and transparent and we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so at this point, we are ready to get it into our mold, quote unquote. So I have a large mason jar with a bunch of straws in here. I'm gonna transfer my jello mixture into a pourable container. Right here, I'm just using a measuring cup. And then I'm going to pour it over top of my straws. Now with liquid displacement, it should eventually fill them all evenly so you don't have to worry about filling each individual straw. But what I noticed with mine is that I maybe didn't make enough liquid. So I'm gonna let this set. It's gonna set on the counter for 30 minutes and then in the fridge for 30 minutes before we pop them out. While that's happening, I'm gonna make another batch of lime green ones to see if I can't uh, make our straws a little bit longer. Boy, 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 this has been a saga. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad we didn't have the camera on the whole time. So, um, remember I said I was gonna do the lime thing to try and make it, th that didn't work. I just, I just physically needed more. So I had to go to the grocery store, I picked up more materials, and I redid the blue version, but with double the recipe. Uh, hadn't accounted for the fact that I actually wanted kind of long sour straws. So. With that done, that whole saga of cleaning everything and then cleaning out the straws and God, I don't even want to get into it. So with all that done, now I want to show you how to make the dusting powder, which is going to stop our sour straws from sticking. This is a couple tablespoons of cornstarch, which is going on this plate with a couple tablespoons of icing sugar. I'm just using a fork to kind of mix that around. And now I'm gonna head over to my sink and show you how I get them out of their straws. It's a really simple process. It just requires the right temperature. I already did it once today. I, I'm not even gonna tell you about that part of this. Here's how you're gonna get it out of the plastic straws. You wanna get your faucet to some nice hot water and wiggle out a straw. All right, so I, I either let these overset or that's just the way these are. It, oh, in case you're wondering, this is the only way I can get them out because they are, they're in there really good. And it's sanitary because I'm the only one who's gonna be eating them. Clean off any of the excess jello mixture, and then make sure you're running it under the hot water for two to three seconds. At this point in time, you grab one end, use your thumb on the other hand, and start pushing. If it doesn't come out right away, don't force it. Put it back under the hot water and try again. And I like to squeeze them directly into my non-stick mix and then roll it around. Repeat that with all of your straws until they are all covered. Big tips, big time. Yeah, I know. Looks like I've been fingering a Smurf. <laughs> it's now 4 p.m. and we started at, what time did we start? 8.30 a.m. 
The last thing I'm gonna do before they sit for three days is I have got uh, some sugar and some more citric acid. I'm gonna get them all coated here and, uh, and then they're just gonna chill out and dry for three days. Cause right now you can see they're really not the correct texture. So I'm hoping that by letting them dry, we'll get some of the moisture out of there and we'll get that traditional chewy sour straw. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, cut to three days later. Uh, I left these out. I rolled them around a little bit because I read somewhere that that would help dehydrate them slightly. Uh, let's see what we've accomplished, you guys. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. The texture is perfect. What? <gasps> did we do it? I think we did it. Oh, oh, it's sour. Woo! Holy mackerel. Wow. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed with us. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a really fun, um, well, that's not true at all. It was an experiment that worked out well and I'm pumped about it. If you do, for any reason, decide to recreate Sour Straws, you guys, I want to see a picture. You should send it to me on my social media. Instagram is Julie Nolke, Facebook is Feeling Peckish. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. I'm gonna eat all of these.